Hello YouTube, today on Details and Dioramas, I have the Power Slide Wendell Scott uh, decal set. Um, this is actually for four different vehicles that he would have drove in his career. So we'll start here with the sheet to go through what cars you have the marking options for. You have his uh, red 1968 Galaxy with the numbers there for that. You have his uh, more famous blue 1966 Galaxy. And then you have oops, his 1970 Ford Torino Talladega, which would have been in a red. And then the last car that he drove um, in NASCAR, I should say, was the 1973 Talladega, which he actually drove, I believe, in 77. He had bought this secondhand and ran it that year. Sadly, in his very first time out in this car, uh, was injured in an accident, which uh, pretty much stopped his career. So uh, we'll set that to the side and we'll take a look at the actual decal sheet itself. Uh, Carter, um, Cartograph is actually the manufacturer who prints these uh, amazing decals, uh, views them on other kits, and they are fantastic. So looking through all of the decals here, you can see uh, with these here, it does have a reflective silver for the numbers. So looking at it straight on just looks gray, but it is actually a metallic silver. You can see the Winston Cup decals down there. Very bright, very crisp colors, and very, very well detailed decals as well. All writing is actually legible. Try to get it to lock in where it can read it. So all of the writing on the contingency decals are legible there we go so like i said just a quick review um, you can use uh polar lights kits for the torino uh mpc's re-release of the 66 um galaxy can be used for either the 66 or you can uh believe find a 68 galaxy as well and then the um, re-release of the MPC uh, Mercury Cyclone will get you his uh, 73 Merc car. So, um, like I said, a great decal set of a kind of underrated driver in NASCAR history, but a very interesting story. If you've never had the chance, I would definitely suggest try to find a documentary on Wendell Scott, uh, first African-American in NASCAR. And, um, you know, for the time... A lot of people, like I said, just didn't give him the credit that was due. He was a single car team owner driver and um, definitely a very interesting story and a very interesting uh, individual Hall of Famer in NASCAR as well. So hope you've enjoyed this quick review. Have a wonderful rest of your day.